In mathematics, particularly in functional analysis, the spectrum of a bounded operator is a generalization of the set of eigenvalues of a matrix. Specifically, a complex number λ is said to be in the spectrum of a bounded linear operator T if λ i minus T is not invertible, where i is the identity operator. The study of spectra and related properties is known as spectral theory, which has numerous applications, most notably the mathematical formulation of quantum mechanics. The spectrum of an operator on a finite dimensional vector space is precisely the set of eigenvalues. However an operator on an infinite dimensional space may have additional elements in its spectrum, and may have no eigenvalues. For example, consider the right shift operator R on the Hilbert space 2 x 1 x 2 0 x 1 x 2 display style x underscore 1 x underscore 2 dots mapsto 0 x underscore 1 x underscore 2 dots this has no eigenvalues, since if Rx equals λ x then by expanding this expression we see that x1 equals 0, x2 equals 0, etc. On the other hand, 0 is in the spectrum because the operator R minus 0 i.e. R itself is not invertible, it is not surjective since any vector with non-zero first component is not in its range. In fact every bounded linear operator on a complex Banach space must have a non-empty spectrum. The notion of spectrum extends to densely defined unbounded operators. In this case a complex number λ is said to be in the spectrum of such an operator T laughing face, x where D is dense in x if there is no bounded inverse λ i minus T minus 1, x D, if T is a closed operator which includes the case that T is a bounded operator, boundedness of such inverses follows automatically if the inverse exists at all. The space of bounded linear operators B X on a Banach space X is an example of a unital Banach algebra. Since the definition of the spectrum does not mention any properties of B X except those that any such algebra has, the notion of a spectrum may be generalized to this context by using the same definition verbatim. Topic. Spectrum of a bounded operator Topic. Definition Let T display style T be a bounded linear operator acting on a Banach space X display style x over the scalar field k display style math b k and i display style i be the identity operator on x display style x the spectrum of t display style t is the set of all lambda element of k display style lambda in math b k for which the operator lambda i minus t display style lambda i t does not have an inverse that is a bounded linear operator. 
since lambda i minus t display style lambda i t is a linear operator the inverse is linear if it exists and by the bounded inverse theorem it is bounded therefore the spectrum consists precisely of those scalars lambda display style lambda for which lambda i minus t display style lambda i t is not bijective the spectrum of a given operator t display style t is often denoted sigma t display style sigma t and its complement the resolvent set is denoted rho t equals k sigma t display style rho t equals math b k set minus sigma t rho t display style rho t is sometimes used to denote the spectral radius of t display style t topic spectrum and eigenvalues if lambda display style lambda is an eigenvalue of t display style t then the operator t minus lambda i display style t lambda i is not one to one and therefore its inverse t minus lambda i minus 1 display style t lambda i caret minus 1 is not defined however the inverse statement is not true the operator t minus lambda i display style t lambda i may not have an inverse even if lambda display style lambda is not an eigenvalue thus the spectrum of an operator always contains all its eigenvalues but is not limited to them for example consider the hilbert space 2 Z display style L caret 2 math B Z that consists of all by infinite sequences of real numbers V equals V minus 2 V minus 1 V zero V one V two Display style V equals L dots V underscore minus two V underscore minus one V underscore zero V underscore one V underscore two L dots that have a finite sum of squares I equals minus infinity plus infinity V I two 
Display style sum underscore I equals in a T carrot plus in a T V underscore I carrot two. The bilateral shift operator T display style T simply displaces every element of the sequence by one position, namely if U equals T V display style U equals T V then U I equals V I minus one display style U underscore I equals V underscore I one for every integer i display style i the eigenvalue equation t v equals lambda v display style t v equals lambda v has no solution in this space since it implies that all the values v i display style v underscore i have the same absolute value if lambda equals 1 display style lambda equals 1 or are a geometric progression if lambda does not equal 1 display style lambda neq 1 either way the sum of their squares would not be finite however the operator t minus lambda i display style t lambda i is not invertible if lambda equals 1 display style lambda equals 1 for example the sequence u display style u such that u i equals 1 i plus 1 display style u underscore i equals 1 i plus 1 is in 2 z display style l caret 2 math b z but there is no sequence v display style v in 2 z display style l caret 2 math b z such that t minus i v equals u display style ti v equals u that is v i minus 1 equals u i plus v i Display style v underscore i one equals u underscore i plus v underscore i for all i display style i topic basic properties. The spectrum of a bounded operator T is always a closed, bounded and non-empty subset of the complex plane. If the spectrum were empty, then the resolvent function R 
lambda equals lambda i minus t minus 1 display style r lambda equals lambda i t caret minus 1 would be defined everywhere on the complex plane and bounded but it can be shown that the resolvent function r is holomorphic on its domain by the vector valued version of Liouville's theorem, this function is constant, thus everywhere zero as it is zero at infinity. This would be a contradiction. The boundedness of the spectrum follows from the Newman series expansion in λ. The spectrum σ is bounded by T. A similar result shows the closedness of the spectrum. The bound, T, on the spectrum can be refined somewhat. The spectral radius, R, T, of T is the radius of the smallest circle in the complex plane which is centered at the origin and contains the spectrum σ, T, inside of it, i.e. R T equals sup lambda Lambda element of sigma t display style r t equals sub lambda lambda in sigma t. The spectral radius formula says that for any element t display style t of a Banach algebra r T equals lim n infinity T n one n display style r t equals lim underscore n to n a t t caret n caret one n Topic: Classification of points in the spectrum of an operator. A bounded operator T on a Banach space is invertible, i.e., has a bounded inverse if and only if T is bounded below and has dense range. Accordingly, the spectrum of T can be divided into the following parts. Lambda element of sigma t if lambda i t is not bounded below. In particular, this is the case if lambda i t is not injective, that is, lambda is an eigenvalue. The set of eigenvalues is called the point spectrum of t and denoted by sigma p t. Alternatively, lambda i t could be one to one, but still not be bounded below. Such lambda is not an eigenvalue, but still an approximate eigenvalue of t. Eigenvalues themselves are also approximate eigenvalues. The set of approximate eigenvalues, which includes the point spectrum, is called the approximate point spectrum of T, denoted by sigma ap T. Lambda element of sigma T, if lambda i T does not have dense range. The set of such lambda is called the compression spectrum of T, denoted by sigma C P T. For a subset, if lambda i t does not have dense range but is injective, lambda is said to be in the residual spectrum of t, denoted by sigma r t. Note that the approximate point spectrum and residual spectrum are not necessarily disjoint. However, the point spectrum and the residual spectrum are. The following subsections provide more details on the three parts of sigma t sketched above. Topic: <laughs> Point spectrum. 
if an operator is not injective so there is some non-zero x with t x equals zero, then it is clearly not invertible. So if λ is an eigenvalue of t, one necessarily has λ element of σ t. The set of eigenvalues of t is also called the point spectrum of t, denoted by σ p t. Approximate point spectrum equals More generally, by the bounded inverse theorem, T is not invertible if it is not bounded below, that is, if there is no C greater than zero such that T x, C, x, for all x in x so the spectrum includes the set of approximate eigenvalues, which are those λ such that T λ i is not bounded below, equivalently, it is the set of λ for which there is a sequence of unit vectors x1, x2, for which lim n infinity t x n minus lambda x n equals 0 Display style lim underscore n to in a t t x underscore n lambda x underscore n equals zero. The set of approximate eigenvalues is known as the approximate point spectrum, denoted by sigma app t. It is easy to see that the eigenvalues lie in the approximate point spectrum. Example consider the bilateral shift T on L2 Z defined by T a minus 1 a carrot 0 a 1 equals a carrot minus 1 a 0 a 1 display style t c d o t s a underscore minus 1 hat a underscore 0 a underscore 1 c d o t s equals c d o t s hat a underscore minus 1 a underscore 0 a underscore 1 c d o t s where the denotes the 0 t h position Direct calculation shows T has no eigenvalues, but every lambda with lambda equals 1 is an approximate eigenvalue, letting xn be the vector 1 n 0 1 lambda minus 1 lambda minus Two Lambda one minus N zero Display style FRAC one SQRT N dots zero one Lambda carrot minus one Lambda carrot minus two dots Lambda carrot one N zero dots then x n equals one for all n, but t x n minus lambda x n equals two n zero. Display style t x underscore n lambda x underscore n equals sqrt frac two n to zero. Since t is a unitary operator, its spectrum lies on the unit circle. 
Therefore, the approximate point spectrum of T is its entire spectrum. This is true for a more general class of operators. A unitary operator is normal. By spectral theorem, a bounded operator on a Hilbert space H is normal if and only if it is equivalent after identification of H with an L squared space to a multiplication operator. It can be shown that the approximate point spectrum of a bounded multiplication operator equals its spectrum. Topic: <inaudible> Residual spectrum. An operator may be injective, even bounded below, but not invertible. The unilateral shift on L Two n displaystyle l caret two math b n is such an example. This shift operator is an isometry, therefore bounded below by one, but it is not invertible as it is not surjective. The set of lambda for which lambda i t is injective but does not have dense range is known as the residual spectrum or compression spectrum of t and is denoted by sigma r t. Topic: <laughs> Continuous spectrum. The set of all lambda for which lambda i T is injective and has dense range, but is not surjective, is called the continuous spectrum of T, denoted by sigma c T. The continuous spectrum therefore consists of those approximate eigenvalues which are not eigenvalues and do not lie in the residual spectrum. That is, sigma c T equals sigma a p t sigma r t sigma p t Display style sigma underscore c t equals sigma underscore app t set minus sigma underscore r t cup sigma underscore p t. Topic: Peripheral spectrum. The peripheral spectrum of an operator is defined as the set of points in its spectrum which have modulus equal to its spectral radius. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Example. The hydrogen atom provides an example of this decomposition. The eigenfunctions of the hydrogen atom Hamiltonian are called eigenstates and are grouped into two categories. The bound states of the hydrogen atom correspond to the discrete part of the spectrum they have a discrete set of eigenvalues that can be computed by the Rydberg formula, whereas the end result of the ionization process is described by the continuous part, the energy of the collision, ionization is not quantized. Topic. Further results If T is a compact operator, then it can be shown that any non-zero lambda in the spectrum is an eigenvalue. In other words, the spectrum of such an operator, which was defined as a generalization of the concept of eigenvalues, consists in this case only of the usual eigenvalues, plus possibly zero.
if X is a Hilbert space and T is a normal operator, then a remarkable result known as the spectral theorem gives an analog of the diagonalization theorem for normal finite dimensional operators Hermitian matrices, for example. Topic. Spectrum of an unbounded operator One can extend the definition of spectrum for unbounded operators on a Banach space X, operators which are no longer elements in the Banach algebra B X. One proceeds in a manner similar to the bounded case. A complex number λ is said to be in the resolvent set, that is, the complement of the spectrum of a linear operator T D X X displaystyle T laughing face, subset X to X if the operator T minus Lambda I D X displaystyle T Lambda I laughing face to X has a bounded inverse, i.e. if there exists a bounded operator S X D displaystyle S X right arrow D such that S T minus I Lambda equals I D T minus I Lambda S equals I X Display style S T I Lambda equals I underscore D T I Lambda S equals I underscore X A complex number Lambda is then in the spectrum if this property fails to hold. One can classify the spectrum in exactly the same way as in the bounded case. The spectrum of an unbounded operator is in general a closed, possibly empty, subset of the complex plane. For λ to be in the resolvent i.e. not in the spectrum, as in the bounded case λ i t must be bijective, since it must have a two-sided inverse. As before if an inverse exists then its linearity is immediate, but in general it may not be bounded, so this condition must be checked separately. However, boundedness of the inverse does follow directly from its existence if one introduces the additional assumption that T is closed, this follows from the closed graph theorem. Therefore, as in the bounded case, a complex number λ lies in the spectrum of a closed operator T if and only if λ i minus T is not bijective. Note that the class of closed operators includes all bounded operators. Via its spectral measures, one can define a decomposition of the spectrum of any self-adjoint operator, bounded or otherwise into absolutely continuous, pure point, and singular parts. <laughs> spectrum of a unital Banach algebra Let B be a complex Banach algebra containing a unit E. Then we define the spectrum σ or more explicitly σ B X of an element X of B to be the set of those complex numbers λ for which λ E minus X is not invertible in B. This extends the definition for bounded linear operators B X on a Banach space X, since B X is a Banach algebra. Topic. 
See also Essential spectrum Self-adjoint operator Pseudospectrum Resolvent set <laughs>